the ball and actually on, on, the, on the rebounding side of it because uh, that's a really, really, really good rebounding team. And I thought we really matched their physicality and, and, and kind of gang rebounded and, and pursued the ball well. And that was a big key, especially us jumping out uh, early in the first half. But uh, unbelievable, unbelievable job on the defensive end. And it took a while for our offense to get going. But once it finally got going, that uh, get it going on both sides like that, uh, that's when we're uh, really in a good place. No, I mean, I, I, I agree with that. I think there, you know, there was a time it was probably playing them down at their place at our guys, and we played good down there. I mean, we led that game for almost all of regulation. Uh, but I think our guys realized, you know, that we had to amp up our our toughness and our physicality and our, you know, we just talk about being nasty. And, and uh, you know, from that point on, we were able to, uh, you know, go out and uh, kind of, had a very similar like game to Loyola, who had put it on us at our our uh, home gym, and then uh, kind of carried it through to our St. Mary's game at home, and then obviously this one was you know as good as we played all year. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know that their spirit was sap. We just we were so good defensively, and and. You know, I don't think we had any aspect of the game where we were we were lacking in anything. I mean, our our offense was incredibly efficient, pretty much like it's been all year. But our defense was as good as it's ever been, and and it was it wasn't just ten minutes or twenty minutes; it was a full four, forty. No, I mean, come on, you know, you know. Just think like that. But I, I knew it was somebody we wanted in our program, and I knew he'd be he'd be, you know, a, a good player here. And I knew he'd be he's a perfect fit just watching how he played. And, and uh, that same confident persona that he showed back in those small gyms on the AAU circuit it, is what he brought, you know, to this program. And it's been a huge part of all these all our wins during this. You know his time and Julian's time and Anton's time is is, is his his confident persona kind of gives us all that edge going into who, no matter who we play. Drew, can you talk about breaking the record tonight in this atmosphere of year for a championship game? Um, well, I mean it was only five points, so like I feel like it was kind of understood that that was going to happen, but like. I don't really care about that. It's super cool, and there's been a lot of great players here. But this championship and all we've been through this season means so much more to me than that. Not to take away from that moment or, or what that means, but just what we've been through as a team this year and just, you know, coach sticking with us and everything. Like, I'm just super happy to uh, be right here right now. I was probably telling him that was a smooth and soft hook. That's our new uh, <coughs> terminology for each other. So every free throw and, and bucket that looks smooth and is soft, I point right to him because that's our, that's our thing. <laughs> Um, well, they're all hard to get. <laughs> it's not easy to come by. Um, but, yeah, man, especially uh, losing out our home court and then losing the way we did to uh, St. Mary's at their place. It definitely uh, – and then, obviously, San Fran, BYU. We've had some close games, and it's it helps when you got a guy like that who just – and Ross Sear that just every time down the stretch, you just know they're going to deliver. And having the confidence in guys like that, man, it just – you're never too worried, honestly. I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, that, that wasn't what we were trying to do. I feel like it was more for, for us and for this locker room and for all the guys that's in there celebrating right now with smiles on their faces. Um, yeah, I mean, like they both attested to already, I mean, we've been through a grinder of a season already. And, um, you know, just the ultimate goal at the end of the day is, you know, win the conference, regular season and um, in the tournament. So, I mean, we, 
we captured those two goals, and now we're on a bigger and better team. Jordan, can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to be in your shoes with the game? Because you guys are, what, 106 games over 500 in the past <laughs> four years. Oh, uh, I mean, wow. he's special. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that stat right there, I mean, kind of eclipses it all. I mean, we just win when he's on the court. Um, I mean, he does so much for us, you know, not just scoring the ball, but just as a leader, you know, vocally, you know, letting people know when, when they're wrong or when they're, when, they're, when they're playing well. I mean, he's just been an amazing teammate, you know. I got nothing but great things to say for him, and I'm just so, super happy for him, you know, to finally, you know, get that um, all-time scoring record. I mean, we all knew it was coming this year, so, I mean, I'm just super proud of him. Uh, again, I thought this team took a lot of just, or they felt a lot of flack, uh, you know, especially early. And, you know, obviously we have high expectations of ourselves and within the program, but, uh, I mean, we also have belief in ourselves. And, and uh, um, so it's just, you know, I, I, I just, you know, applaud them and, and, uh, and owe them big time for just sticking with us and sticking with the plan and not listening to all the, there's a lot of, Pressure playing at Gonzaga. There's a lot of high expectations when you play at Gonzaga. But, you know, like we talked about earlier here, I mean, we, with Drew and Jules and Anton on your team, you, you expect to win every game too. But uh, I think we have a little more balance in our thoughts and understanding when we don't uh, than most people, everybody else around us. So that's what made it so special is they just hung with it and hung with it. It took a while, I think, for us to really – figure out what it was going to take, especially with our physicality and our connectivity on the defensive end. And again, it was just great to put it together, you know, on a night like tonight against such a, a really, really good team. I think St. Mary's is going to have great success in the NCAA tournament. Uh, they're they're, they're an excellent, excellent basketball team. And, uh, and I hope we just stay in this space. As I told them, if we stay playing defense like that and, and, and – you know, keep running our offense as crisp as we ran it uh, uh, tonight, especially that's one of the best defenses in the country to do that. Uh, I mean, bodes really, really well for us in the tournament. Mark, is that when you said a long time ago you're not going to get into the process of getting wins and getting off to quick runs? I mean, is that, is that special for you this year because of what you were starting to have? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, right, that's what supposedly coaching is all about, right? I mean, it's supposed to be about – development and, and it, nobody said it was <laughs> fun um, or easy and I think sometimes you have to I have to remind myself of that and, and you know remind the staff of that um, too I mean there were numerous days where I was not fun to be around <laughs> as a player or as an assistant coach <laughs> okay so probably owe everybody an apology for that but I also you know I was just trying to hold these guys to the standard that you know all the other teams have, have hit in, in relation to, you know, just how hard we play and how tough we are and, 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 and you know, hitting our attention to detail. And, and uh, it, just, it just took them a while to figure it out. But, you know, it was kind of unfair to them, too. We played Zach Eady and Purdue on, you know, 12 hours of preparation. Uh, we played at Texas, you know, opened an arena after we, you know, drilled them at home the year before. And I think they were preparing literally all summer uh, for us. And, uh, you know, Drew mentioned even the Tennessee scrimmage, uh, how, how much I think some of the younger guys are shocked how, how much that meant to Tennessee, that scrimmage, all the way back then. And so I think it took everybody a while to understand, you know, what it meant to play for Gonzaga and what the effort and the, and the toughness and the, and the energy you had to bring every day. Jeff? Sorry, sorry. Jeff? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, if, if you have not played St. Mary's before, they're incredibly difficult to prepare for. I think the guys, I mean, Julian, when do you think so? Oh, absolutely. They, they make everything difficult. And, like, just their attention to detail. And, you know, they don't, they don't make so many mistakes. And I feel like for, for a team that's never seen that or played against it, you know, it's kind of hard because, you know, they, they uh, stick together. They're super connected. And, and they run everything with, with a lot of purpose. So, yeah. I think it's one of those things they're going to feel like they're okay, and then they're going to look up 
30 minutes in and they're down eight and St. Mary's got them right where they want them, you know, or down 10. And so, uh, yeah, they're going to do really, really well. And down eight against St. Mary's is like down 20. <laughs> <laughs> but Billy and then. I think it's kind of like what coach said it was uh it's different especially uh th before this like we didn't really lose much and um you know i think it just shifted our perspective and just like we really appreciated each and every win i think me personally i took for granted winning i've won so much in my career that it's kind of it's it's a it's a shock to me not to win and i think Early in the year, it just kind of it made me appreciate the little things more. It made me appreciate what it takes to win night in and night, night in and night out. I think sometimes we kind of assume we were just going to win because we're Gonzaga, and I think that going through this and and how how this season's gone has just kind of made us appreciate every the little things more, the journey more. I think sometimes it's hard not to fall on this this mindset of we just got to get to March. I mean, it it was a grind this season. I think that that grind is really just made us as a group appreciate each and every night winning and the, the togetherness and what it takes to win and be a good team. Um, I don't think it's something that came just all out of the blue. I think it's something that came piece by piece, day by day. It's something that you can't just – you can't just wake up and go, oh, we're a tough team. It's something that you, you have to get through the dirt and the mud. And it's something that, uh, like Coach said, he probably wasn't the nicest guy around, <laughs> but neither were we. And, you know, and that's what it takes to be good. you gotta, you got to get after each other. And I think that's just what makes this group special is that we've, we've been able to push each other and push each other's buttons. But at the end of the day, man, no one cares about each other more than this group. And it's, uh, it just makes the journey that much more special. Time for a couple more questions in the back. <laughs> you must not know me very well. Yeah. When it's over, it's over. And I'm, it's just like any tournament. You're playing because it's the last time you can put that uniform on. You don't know if you're going to get hurt. You don't know if you're going to, I don't know, something's going to happen. It, every time you put that jersey on could be your last. So it's nothing different. I'm right. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels it, it's it's nice to be an underdog today. I mean, today we were one. We're a two seed in this, and uh, we've never been that before. That and uh, wearing the blue jerseys, like, don't know what that really feels like in this tournament. So uh, it's nice. It's obviously a, a nice little like lighter fluid to the fire. But you know, uh, we're still Gonzaga. We still have that target on our backs, and it's. It, <laughs> It, it's not easy, no matter where you, what seed you are, because every team in that tournament deserves to be there, and they're all the team. On the left over here. Yeah, coach, you and Berlin have had some success in the city and in this facility. Um, what has New Orleans and Las Vegas meant to you with all the success you've had in this conference? I mean, obviously, uh, great times for our fans. <laughs> you know, and I, <laughs> so I hear about that all year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, which is great. I mean, which is awesome. I mean, what a, I think that's probably the best memory I have of coming down here is just the support we get. I mean, it's unbelievable every time you walk out there and the whole place is full of Gonzaga fans. And, and heck, it even carried over, you know, the year we played. Uh, last year we played UCLA, you know, at T-Mobile, and then we played Duke. And uh, th those were just unbelievable environments. I mean, uh, really created by kind of all our – incredible fans that travel down here. And, and uh, that, that's probably what I remember most. Last question in the back. Uh, Jared, with just with over the past four years, the way you missed our big play tournament four years in a row, um, with how far the conference has come and how evolved your accomplishments, like how, how does that rank? I mean, especially as we talk about this 
Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's been a beast, and I kind of like I said earlier, just to change the perspective that we have, we have as as a team have gone through this year. I think we really appreciate just those nail biters and and those losses, and how we've been able to rally and and just come back even better from it, and, and really learn from it and grow as a team. And I just think that growth and that appreciation for the the process is something that we kind of we just didn't really appreciate. But uh, it's special, man, especially with how much crap we took from a lot of people. A lot of people just like to kick, were kicking us while we were down, to be honest. And uh, for us to just stay connected and just keep going no matter what happened, I think it's just a testament to the program that coaches and the, the culture that he's built here because it's – you see programs that kind of go through it and they kind of – they have their run and they fall off and, you know, it's just a testament to him. I mean, it's just what he's built here. We know how to handle it. We just keep going no matter what. It's kind of like the Nemo movie, you just keep swimming. <laughs> Thank you all and congratulations. Tie it all together. <laughs>